श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम द फर्स्ट फॉल ऑफ द इन्फिनेट डिवाइन इज at the base of our being what they call in kundalini yoga as mooladhar moola is the origin urdhva moola madashaka moola adhar adhar is the support what is the main the basic support because of which we are leading our life happy or miserable <clears throat> so that mool aadhar is nothing but body identification that is the mool aadhar in kundalini marga they say you have to open the chakra muladhar chakra opening chakra bhed is the word used no bhed doesn't means you uh, break it open no bhed means the secret what is the secret so muladhar chakra bhed so the secret is there is no option but to be identified with the body no option now after we are identified with the body thereafter what do we take do we take that i am body notion as real or do we take it as a temporary phenomenon see now when we take it as real that i am body then the net result is body wise we are incomplete limited by time space and object see maya kalpita desha kal kalana vaichitra chitrikrutam because of these limitations of time space and object so many bodies are born and those two bodies are not the same they are different from each other so this is the first fall and after this fall then we go to the next step and the next step is because of this incompleteness the uncomfortable feeling that is called as kama or the desire that is the second chakra swadhisthan chakra is the kama sthan desire so muladhar body identification net result desire now why the desire comes because we consider ourselves to be incomplete limited by time space and object and therefore the world is other than me these two principles are responsible for creating a phenomenon called as desire now as the desire are prompting our life then what is the end of that desire either desires are fulfilled or not fulfilled when desires are not fulfilled 
they get converted into anger and when the anger comes we lose lot of our energy and peace the angry person cannot be happy and if the desires are fulfilled it leads to greed so both these anger and greed they are the next generation of the kama or the desire now if we look into our life our whole life is spent only for these three things desire anger and greed and what is the muladhar body identification you may do anything but unless the cause is removed the effects will not be sorted out but on this front neither we are told nor do we know see so what is meditation meditation is recognizing this that all our energy of life is wasted only in desire fulfillment and nothing else okay. if we are to write our biography in one line what will i since childhood i have been trying to fulfill all my desires yet not yet all the desires are not fulfilled then we go to the temple give donation that is also desire so if i give this thing i will go to hell i will go to heaven see friends therefore <coughs> real meditation begins when we are fully convinced that body identification will happen but we don't have to take it seriously we take the body as i and never go further so what is meditation meditation is what it is like being other than the body is it because of the body i am or because of me the body is is it necessary to have body identification for my existence or i am independent of the body so we analyze and learn from our own experiences so we come to know that when we go through experiences like dream and deep sleep that time we are not identified with the body yet we continue to exist and therefore our existence is independent of the body we have to be convinced of this we are only hearing it but we have to be convinced all of us are living only our own convictions okay. and if the conviction is wrong the whole life is different okay. like the children are taught don't go to any other temple that is a temple of the divine devil people don't go there my small kids what they understand but right from childhood they are taught and then when they are grown up they have got a hatred only bhavana nothing else see friends therefore the real meditation begins when we come to this conclusion 
that we cannot be the body. We are expressing through the body. Now with this conviction when we start live, living our life, the quality of our life will be different. What will be the quality? Desire, fulfillment will not be the criteria of our life. There is nothing like good desire, bad desire. Good Taliban, bad Taliban. No. Desire is desire. See? So when we are working in this line of understanding, then the next step will come. The next step is normally we keep on complaining about the mind. So if we are living in meditation, we will stop complaining about the mind. Complaining is the simplest thing. A responsible way of life is to complain. See? All the time complaining about everything. So, instead of complaining about the mind, you just start working on the mind. That is the life lived by the body or the life is lived by the mind. All the experiences are happening in the body or they are happening in the mind. See, then we will discover that experiences happen not to the body but to the mind. See? Then we are now next step. So what is our complaint? There are too many thoughts or the mind is disturbed. Huh? This is the complaint. Mind is disturbed. So before you say this statement, Please define what is the meaning of a disturbed mind. See? Like we go to the doctor and doctor says, okay, you are not well. What are the symptoms? From the symptoms, the doctor comes to the diagnosis. In the same manner, when we say mind is disturbed, what are the symptoms? Please tell. Too many thoughts come. Very good. Any more? See? Now analyze those thoughts. Then we will come to discover thoughts can erupt only with a reference to something. Without a reference, thoughts cannot come. See? Sometime if you see the river, the waters are plain, smooth, flowing. And if in between there is a rock, there is a pillar, there you will see the waters are running in the opposite direction. Hardly an inch or two. Therefore, it looks white is there. Because reference is there. In that flow of waters, if there is no reference or obstacle, there won't be the ebbing, it is called ebbing, ebbing of the water, it will not be there. In the same manner, mind will never have thoughts if there is no reference. References are born after body identification. So what is the reference? Reference is mother, father, brother, sister, husband, wife, this, that, references. And all those references come with reference to body. See. Then we will come to know further. Disturbed mind is the mind which is running in time, space and objects. So we have to work now on the mind. The real meditation life begins when we start working on our mind.
not on the world, not on anything. Start working on the mind. Then one day, by God's grace, we come to discover. The seed for the eruption of thoughts is importance given to any time, any space, any object. That is the seed. You give importance to your children, thoughts will start coming regarding the children. Give importance to your flight, start the thoughts will start running after the flight. Don't give importance to anything, you are at peace. give importance to silence, every sound will disturb you. Be indifferent to the sounds. No sound can disturb us. Like The space supports everything, rejects nothing, but doesn't get influenced by anything. In the same manner, we hear all the sounds, but we do not react. Reaction is in terms of evaluation, labeling, suggestions, comments and anger. Going in the forest or a cave where there is no disturbance of any kind and sitting for meditation is a cartoon of meditation. Wherever we may be, if we have clear understanding, that somebody can disturb us if we cooperate with them. Let there be sounds, no comments. So here we are neither listening to the sounds nor rejecting the sounds. Then sounds are heard, but hearer is not born.
in the same manner. When meditation is done, meditator is born. When meditator is born, then it will be good or bad meditation. But if meditator is not born, because meditation is not done, so when meditation is not done, meditator is not born, dhyatru dhyane parityajya, then what remains is the truth. So all perceptions are intact. But there is no reaction. So this experience without the experiencer is the truth. So at this stage, we have reason about the lower three chakras. The Muladhar, Swadhisthan and Manipur. Now we are in Anahat Chakra. Anahat Chakra is when we start working on the mind. So the mind is interaction between two aspects of knowledge. Aham aspect, INS, and idam aspect, not INS, Atma, Anatma. If there are too many not I contents, the I thought will be very fat.
टू मेनी कंटेंट साथ विथ रेफरेंस टू टाइम स्पेस ऑब्जेक्ट्स एटसेट्रा सो स्ट्रॉगर द कंटेंट्स वेरी फॉर्म विल बी द आई lesser the contents weak will be the i no contents no i in old age the content is the past in the youth age contents are the future worries in the childhood no contents no worries therefore no i therefore when we do not entertain too many memories or future worries this i is not strong and as the i starts becoming weaker we are happier and happier a strong personality cannot be happy when this i is slowly disappearing the breathing becomes extremely slow and shallow the body becomes heavy on the base and the concept of inside outside does not hold good
we are fully aware. No reactions. No sleep. This experience is like the experience the space has. So, we have done three things. First, <coughs> the gross world, starting from body identification up to the greed that we have dropped. by body disidentification. Second step, we stop reacting to any perception, particularly the sounds. First was gross space, the second is the mind space. Mind is not disturbed by any thought, any perception. As a result, the third and the final step was there was nobody who was doing anything or achieving anything because I was not born. like the blood circulation is happening, digestion is happening, in the same manner, life is lived.
reflections are seen by both us and the birds. Birds suffer. We don't. In the same manner, body identification is common for the great masters and us. We suffer, they don't. Because reflection in the mirror is not the issue. Issue is do we take it real or only apparent? Similarly, body identification is not the issue. Issue is, do we take body identification as real and suffer or we take this as one of the natural phenomena and don't crystallize into somebody.
there is no struggle of any kind. We are not fighting with the mind. We are not fighting with the perceptions. We are neither happy nor miserable. This bliss is in a process of undoing and unbecoming. We cannot make a memory of this. Memories are made only that of the finite. We go to so many places. We don't make memory of the space. Because here there is neither success nor failure. We have not gained the reality, the divine. Because we cannot gain ourselves. Like the eyes cannot see themselves, we cannot gain divinity. Nor we have lost anything. When the dreams are over, we do not lose anything. This experience where gain and loss are Null and void,
Take deep breath slowly two three times. Move your toes and fingers. And see how again the body identification has happened. As we have to do something, body identification is not done, it happens. Like the reflection in the mirror, it happens. We cannot stop that. The only thing is to take it in the right spirit. Unless we are working on this, we will be sincerely suffering in life. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purna Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Sri Guru Jona Maha Hari Om